a sterling reputation for its uncompromising commitment to social justice issues. People throughout the country have long relied on the analysis and critical perspectives presented on, our, on your station. In 1968, I was studying police science because I wanted to join the CIA and turn the clock back on the communists. But I met a friend, and they made me listen to our sister station, WBAI. And I started to hear dissonant voices, spectacular voices, agents, soldiers against war, and brilliant visionaries like my friend here, Bill Mandel. The last speaker spoke of the defunct Women's Department. The first person to call for women's broadcasting on KPFA was myself. It was a violation of the gag rule. The manager at that time was very angry, and women's broadcasting began. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here to uh, speak for this great radio station and a lot of great friends of mine. Uh, I want you to know that I gave Larry Bensky his first radio job, and I would hate to see a promising career cut off prematurely. So, uh, if, if we can't uh, keep control, local control, and uh, collective running of this station here in Berkeley, yeah. then we have no hope for anything else. So this is where we have to draw the line. Amazing crowd. You should stand here and see how we fill the street. It's beautiful. I'm Mariah Gellard, and I used to be a staff at KPFA, and I actually have the dubious honor in an act of almost biblical proportions to be banned from all Pacifica stations in 1993. <laughs> that used to be uh, evoking like uh, embarrassed silence when I spoke about it in 94 and now I'm getting standing ovations and that is very sad as well. Thank you. I think it's so very appropriate that on the 50th birthday, KKFA would have a demonstration. And this is the party. People have been asking me what my historical perspective is on this matter. Well, there's a time, my name is Matthew Lassar. There's a time for historical perspective, and there's a time for action. And this is the time for action. Pacific and National Office, look what you've done done. Was this people's uprising part of your strategic plan? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. We need real leaders at Pacifica Radio. We need people who want to lead the Pacifica Network, not just run it. We need people who play hard but play fair. Right who are better than to seek their goals through fiat, firing, and fait accompli. The health and future of this organization lies with consensus seekers and builders, people who know how to bring in constituencies rather than shut them out. Yes. Yes. We need people who like Pacific Radio. KPFA is just a building and a bunch of electronics. For that matter, Nicole Sawai and Larry Bensky are people who've done some really great things. What's important here, though, is this community and its health its access to information, its ability to debate ideas, and KPFA has been central to that for 50 years. And it remains to be seen whether it will remain central to that. But we will have the ideas and we will carry on the debates with or without Pacifica. Thank you all for coming tonight.
the corporate structure of Pacifica may have given you the illusion of the power that you can fire key spokespersons of conscience because they defy orders, but that corporate structure cannot legitimize your decisions. We have never been a movement that accepts traditional definitions of legitimacy, and we are not about to begin to now. The people is to continue to call Pacifica and tell them that you demand the rehiring of Nicole Sawai and Larry Bensky. So please help us with this so that we can bring back Larry and Nicole. Si se puede!